Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can't just yeah! yeah! You know, you don't want to be the radio guy who comes in too hot. But hey, it's good to be back. It's good to see you, Queefs. And here we are on a balmy January, February? Fe- uh, no, it's January. The last, No, it's February. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm all fucked up. Black history. Uh, yesterday uh, was the 30th. By the way, we got to yesterday. apologize. We're behind oh, schedule. I'm we so go. sorry. Sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, I don't know how to please you guys. I got in a bad <laughs> habit of looking at the YouTube comments. Oh, Woo! big mistake. Woo! I shouldn't have written those, but Woo! horrible idea, Woo. but I read them too. Yikes! I mean, it's hard to please these folks. Where if we're behind, if we did a Zoom episode, uh, they would break into my house and slip my throat at night, oh, like William I hate Wallace. The Zoom. They'll fuck your mom. And uh, if you pre-record, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, so, can't pre. Uh, if you Free don't me. release an episode, forget about it. We're, oh, we're, that's it. We've but, taken every Christmas off for nine years. We took this one off. They were like, you scumbag, Jew-loving motherfuckers. <laughs> Commie. I, well, the other guy, the other thing is I talk to the half these queefs we know, and they go, I, I record when I want to record. I'm like, how do you get away with it? I know. Uh, you set a precedent. I think that's the key. People release. Chuck, you have something here? Well, did you read the Patreon comments? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, you sent some Patreon they're comments. They're all positive. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Great, they, great two episodes. The they honeymoon signed episodes. up. They know what they're getting into. Yeah. The other people just willy-nilly are, are hanging out. So appreciate the patrons. God bless you. Get on that Patreon if you want to be a good, nice person who cares about society. But Please. we're doing the best we can. We're re- pre-recording. You can blame me this time. I'm going on a seven-week road trip here. I'm going yeah. to... Uh, Key West, I'm shooting a film about Tom Dustin. That's going to be something. I got Salakuse coming down. I love it. He's like a boy. He's going to uh, shit when he sees old Tommy D. Well, I'm thinking about this. Salakuse has never met Tom Dustin. Oh, that's even better. I mean, he's going to be ruining takes with the camera shaking yes, and his belly yes. shaking. Michael J. And uh, Patrick Holbert coming down. Ah, he's a cute kid. Oh, great guy. He's a very, very handsome man. Viral. What's that mean? You know... I wish I knew, but it's it's one of those things where you're uh, you're taut and you're manly uh, and you're you're pumped with testosterone. I don't know. I don't know. Like a dick is virile. It's stretched out. Oh. The veins are popping. The head is purple. I see. Well, he's very hip, but I don't think of him as like a bro. No, not bro, but he's just he's uh, sturdy and capable. Yes, he's very tall and uh, handsome, and he's a twos gay, I believe. So thank you. So he'll be down there. We got Tommy D, and I think it's gonna be really something. You know, Dustin. He's a character. Oh, he's a card, and that 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 island or whatever you want to call it, a key. It's an island. Key. Okay, yeah. How come some things are a key? I don't know. You know, I think this is a couple of them. It's like a couple of keys when you're drunk. Yeah, I don't know. I always thought maybe it looked like a key going into the pee hole, ah, key hole, pee hole. Like, yeah, yeah. Of Florida. Sure. Okay. Skeleton key. Well, Doug key. But Fun key. <laughs> Monkey key grip, but it's an island. But there's something you land on that island. You just want to woo. You want to do blow off a guy's ass and fuck somebody's dead. Well, they call it Keys Disease, where you get down there, you lose your job. You got the, they all have the crispy tits. Yeah, they all have like those brown tits. tits that looks like you could just pull them off. I don't know if that's from the sun or the uh, caked of jizz over years. <laughs> you know, like my socks are crispy tits. <laughs> Uh, boy, I love a, I love coming on a towel. You know what I did the other day? This is really <laughs> a towel. Well, here's what I did the other day. You know, I've been with my wife very, very, very long time. We're almost quits. Years. And uh, you know, we're having Just... sex. I pull out and I say, "What if I come in your underwear?" Ooh, that's a genre in porn. No kidding. Coming, come in the panties. No kidding. I had no idea. Well, I C- thought I invented it. ITP. But I took the panties and just laid them out and <laughs> shot oh. it right on the panty. Well, that's hot. Yeah, it was pretty good. And they were like black panties, so the white on the Ooh, black. Ooh, a little Lewinsky. Yeah, white on black. That's uh, that's a good crime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Cut that. No, no. That guy, he really got fucked by the cops. But. <laughs> 
No, that was that was black on black. The black on black. Yeah. 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 yeah Thank yeah. God. I don't want to make I'm not making light of that. No, that was horrible. We're making you know, dark of that. But every guy in America, every white guy was going, whoo, Jesus, that's ugly. We're all human. But the panty one on uh, on the porno is porno the girl panty. is wearing it, and the guy shoots it in there while she's wearing it. She'll kind of open it up, oh. and he shoots it in there, which is even hotter. Oh, well, these were already off, but I should have done that. Next time, and send me a video. Because once the undies are off, you don't want to put them back on. No, not with that splooge of baby batter. So uh, that, these were already off, so I just took them and put them underneath and <laughs> squirted wow. it right on there. And it was pretty good. See, if I was her, I'd be annoyed. I'd be like, ah, jeez, I got two panties left, and there go one of them. Well, this was uh, this was day three. Of the, these panties were already stinking like uh, uh, like garbage outside of a bar. I see. They were a little so, uh, soiled. They were going into the uh, the laundry. Anyway, yes, so, yes, the furnace. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> stick them on there. I got you. I never found the furnace in Home Alone that scary. I think we talked about this on the. Uh, yeah, I was like, it's a furnace. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I was more scared of the uh, hoodlums in my neighborhood who would look through the window. Yeah, this, you got guys breaking in, adult men breaking in and trying to smash them in the face with an iron. What, is, what do you care about a basement? That's a good point. And I get the basement because, you know, they can break in. There could be a guy down there. Mm-hmm. I walked in on a few guys in my house. No kidding. Yeah, they were banging my mom. Nice. But they stole a VCR. I walked in on a guy once. I was, you know, seven. And I go, hey. And he goes, uh, big, big guy. And he goes, Where's your dad at? And I was like, oh, I'll find him. And I went and looked for my dad. I And I was upstairs looking for my dad. I look out the window, running through the backyard with a computer. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Computer monitor. Just wow. Crazy. And you're like, and even as a kid, I was like, huh, I don't get it. Because you're so naive. And then I told my parents later, they called the police, and my mom cried. Oh, God. That is frightening. Yeah, good times. Well, what are you going to do? Yeah, furnace. Well. Sorry, was that too real? No, no. All right. It was uh, dramatic. Horrible. Yeah, true story. Yeah. Big guy. That wasn't the only time. But we'll get into the diddling later. Diddle. Riddle the, piddle diddle. The diddler. Kittle. Kerry Kittles. Remember him? Who? He was a basketball player for Villanova. Skittles? Uh, Kittles. Kittles. Fun last name. Sounds like a cereal. I'd love to be Joe Kittles. Yes. Joe Kittles would be nice. Yeah, I Kittles. I Kittles. I hate my name. I want to go Luke Kittles. Luke Kittles. Holy hell. Kittles and Bits over here. That's <laughs> the album. And I got Bits. Yes. Kittles and Bits. Diddles Ooh. and Bits. Oh, that's the new theme park. Kittles Diddles. Luke Kittles. That's nice. That's a name. What a life I would have if my name was Luke Kittles. Different guy. It would be nice. We get that name in there. Maybe a little reconstructive surgery on the face. Ouch. And you're in. I think it might be fun to, to, to pretend to die, be one of these guys, and then come back... With a, a new, new act, yes. You know, come back with like a, a Don Draper. A mustache and what did he do? He did that? He went to he was a poor farm kid, went to Korea, his his PO PO? Parole officer. No. CO. CO. Chief Colorado. Corporate officer. Commanding. Commanding officer. His C- CO. Gotta report his, to your CO. His CO got blown up and he just said, you know what? Fuck it. And he took the guy's dog tags, and then he blew up or something, and then the guys found him, and they go, oh, you're Don Draper? And he goes, yeah. Interesting. And then, then the rest, he just gets a job on Madison Avenue, and it's all a lie. Uh-huh. And it's fun, because people try to figure him out, and he's trying to pretend the whole time, but it, it's got to be so fun. It's like Jean Valjean. You become a new person. Who's Jean Valjean? He was in Les Mis, and he was in jail, and he broke out, and he changed his identity and became the police chief. This is a character or a real guy? This is Les Miserables. It's a the film, fiction, the play, book. whatever. Uh, Fish, mammal, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, but great, great tale. Ah, uh, okay. I never saw Les Mis. Oh. I Les mis it. Well, it's the the singing is is a little off-putting and, and gay, but uh, the movie, the story is is killer. Wow, great story. Isn't it like a opera? Is that Les Mis? It's a That's musical. That's Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a lot of singing. What's the Phantom of the Opera? His face is fucked up. I, I can't follow I think, any of this stuff. I think that's about Seal. 
Ah, the singer. Kiss from a rose on a thorn. I hated Seal. Hated Seal. God, he was garbage. Well, he was plowing Klum, though. That seems like a lot of fun. I guess, but even that, I'm still, it's so. Kiss from a rose, rose on a rose. Did you know that when it snows? I'd rather hear this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my kind of Seal. Yes. Seal of approval. Yes, sealed asshole. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sealy posturpedic. Cam Sealy. Um... <laughs> Luke Kittles. Yeah, Luke, Luke Kittles. 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 Luke Kittles. Kittles and Bits, I'm telling you. That's the uh, that's the live act. I might come back as Luke Kittles. I like it. Now we got to figure out how to get rid of you. What do you think? AIDS? Monkey pox? Scurvy? Maybe it's just an old, I don't know, disappeared, COVID? car wreck. COVID's not. No one's buying COVID anymore. It didn't even kill Biden. Yeah. And All the right. queen. Oh, yeah. I mean, she died, but not from COVID, I don't think. I don't think so either. I think she was under a car wrenching. Um, but yeah, I don't know. How do you disappear? Shipwreck? Something like Ooh. that at sea is good. We'll I love a, the sea. We'll get you a boat act. We'll get you a boat gig, and then... Impractical Jokers, maybe. Aruba. Yeah, Aruba! I've gone missing there. That's big. So yeah, I'll disappear and come back in a year. Sometimes I want to disappear. You ever think, like, let's just... Fuck it. Ah, uh, all the time. The spots and the auditions and the podcasts. It's piling on to me, Jerry. I can't breathe. It's horrible. I know. You got and you gotta put them out. You got and they never stop. You go, you go, hey, I got a good clip cooking. And then three days later you go, All right, let's find another thing to embarrass myself with. And you're like, I'm out of things to say. Uh, I got nothing else. It, it's like the Chris Rock show. I ever tell you at the time, like, yes, you told me. Right, right. I told it all. What about if we kill you where you're a hero? That's even better. Like you save a lady. Oh, I'd love to save a lady. We get a Down Syndrome kid, girl. We put her in the street. You run in. I hit you with the beamer. Everybody wins. This is nice. I like this. I got the kid. I wrap him up, and then I'm like... Yes, yes. And the kid's already like that, so... <laughs> hey, we grab the kid, take care of him, and then I say... Be well once more into the night, dear tits, or whatever. There you go. I'll see you, Downsy. I'll film the whole thing, and uh, we'll put that puppy on uh, Tic Tac. Yeah, that's not bad. And then uh, some time passes, and here I come. Time passes. But I slowly. I, I really do. I think about moving to the woods. We talk about my blood pressure. Mm. I think it would just sink if I went up to the woods, walked in the mountains, one of these mountain people. No doubt about it. You get up in the Berkshires, we get you a beard and a, one of those thermoses of coffee. You're a different guy. A flannel, an axe. I like that thermos and uh, I just meditate and people come and see me and I tell them of the wisdom of uh, the asshole and, and then whoosh, see you later. I love it. I love the idea of uh, being like, where is Joe? And then whoosh, like an axe hits a tree and you're like, there he is. You That's, know, you're, you're you're so good. You're like castaway. You know how to do all the shit now. You can make a tent and a, and a, and a, and a trap. I'm sure we've talked about this before, but I always thought it was a little far-fetched that even after however many years he's on there, or that he can spear a fish from like uh, 25 feet away. Direct hit from like... Yeah, I guess so. But the little, little, de like he should be standing over it. Like he, I'm sure he can do it. Yeah. But the idea that he's just like... Right. <laughs> like, I, it's just outrageous. I me. guess you know, there's no phone, there's no newspaper, there's no laptop. So you got the 10,000 hours, maybe. I don't know. I suppose so. I'm a cynical asshole, but... Uh, but I hear you. I, I, here's a thought I had. I was watching this documentary about dolphins. Mm. Yeah. They rape, right? Oh, big time. Nice. That's why I watched. And there was a guy on there who's like a dolphin trainer, blah, blah, blah. But he was a waiter at this Marineland, SeaWorld type place. And his boss caught him just staring at the dolphins through the fence. And he goes, what's up? He goes, I just love these dolphins. I want to train them. And he goes, but you're a waiter. And he goes, I know. But he's just staring at them. And eventually he goes, all right, well, I'll train you to train the dolphins. Long story short, if we had phones back then, this is in the 70s, would he have looked at those dolphins for hours? Interesting. Yeah, probably not. That's what worries about the phone. How many things? Of course. I used to skateboard all day. You ran, you played sports, you did all these things. But if we had a phone, we might have not gotten our ass up to do those things. Yes. I mean, it's 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 like the gum sales. The gum sales. Well, we, we, I think we talked about this before once. The gum sales have plummeted. Oh, is that right? Because everyone's in line looking at their phones. Whoa! So no one's looking at the gum. Oh, you're blowing my tits, fatty. Gum and candy. 
through wow, the toilet. Oh, because that was impulse. That's what you did. You stood in line, you waited, then you went, hey, gum, I'll get some gum when I get up there. But they're not looking at the gum, they're looking at the cum. They're on Whoa. porn. <laughs> yeah. Gum is out. Gum is gum out. Is gum is in. My ass. <laughs> um, always. And I chew it with it. We Crunchy. could blow a cum bubble with your butt. Oh, Patreon. <laughs> um, wow, the gum sale. That's big, yes. Jerry. You're blowing my fat tick off. Well, yeah. And, and tick, I'm not on TikTok, Me fortunately. Neither. But well, I have this thing now where... You sit around uh, thinking about a career, and you're sh- like, what should I be doing? And then you, uh, my go-to is look at the phone. Anytime an indecisive moment, Same. I'm like, let me look at uh, Instagram. Maybe there's a message I should write back yes. to. And uh, it's just horseshit. It's, it's, it's horrible. Horseshit. And I have that with writing. I'll be right. I used to write for an hour, top to bottom, and now I go, ah, I can't crack this joke. Let me see the phone. Yes. That's horrible. I'm, I'm never going to get there if I just check the phone. Yes. Well, I, I talked about this before. My writing method in the old days was I'd go to Starbucks and sit in front of the mirror. Mm. So anytime you weren't writing, you're just looking at yourself like, Ooh. look at you, you scumbag. But I don't even look at myself. Cause that, who could? Uh, yeah. Ugh. I just look at Instagram and Twitter all day. Did you get in trouble for cracking the mirror? Not Twitter so much. But, okay. Uh, That's a great move. Looking at the I don't want to see myself. It was big. Yeah. The wife tried to bring a mirror in during fucking. I said, no thanks, tits. Really? Tits. Well, come in those panties. Yes. That'll shut her up. That's nice. Now all I can think about is coming in panties, the way you're talking. And oh, yeah. Squish it in there a little bit. She doesn't wear them. Hey. Yeah. Whoa. Just a maxi pad. Whoa. It's hard to penetrate. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's big, the mirror thing. But yeah, the phone. I was just thinking, if this guy, if I didn't, if I didn't, uh, and plus, Hold on, I'm, I'm I'm rambling. But the phone, not only is it addictive and you che- keep checking it, it's also news, yes. uh, death, school shooting, police beat up a guy. Uh, so it's not only just uh, addictive, it's also negative addictive. Yes, and then the material, the I hate comedy. I don't like right. comedy any longer because every time I look at my phone, it's like, what'd you say? What'd he say? What'd you say? Scoop a boop, shib it a bup. How long you been together? How it's, long you dating? And it's a lot of like, whoa! Next level. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I can't stand it, Jerry. I know, and your I whole feed it. is gone. It used to be just Norm MacDonald and Labia, and now it's Stavros. Yeah, I miss the old Instagram of sunsets and buildings. Yeah. And, uh, you know, tits or whatever. Sure, sure. But that's the time we're living in. But for us, at least we're adults. We've lived that. We can recognize that. Kids have no chance. No chance. They're fucked. They are fucked because you would sit around and make fun. It was like your old bit. You would have to go, we got a broomstick and we got some lube. Let's figure it out. Yes. And now you go, we got some broomstick and a lube. I'll look at my phone. Yeah, yeah. That's tough. Ah. Yeah, we used to invent games. We used to make up stories. We used to fist fight and wrestle and all this shit. And climb a tree because you had to. I'm pretty sure TikTok, uh, that really is China just doing research and fucking us up. That's what they say. You know, they're allowed 40 minutes a day. 40 minutes a day. In China. And we do it 40 minutes of not TikTok. The rest of the time is right. TikTok. Yeah, I read a thing or heard a thing. I think it was on Real Time. They said uh, these American kids are on TikTok at minimum 90 minutes a day or 100 minutes. 100 minutes a day, they said. What's that, an hour? That's and... an hour and 40. Ooh, that's that's low ball. That's a, and that's a child, though. That's oh, like a child, kid, like fifth, yeah. sixth, seventh grade. Hot. That's because uh, that's not counting the amount of time they're on Instagram and, and Twitter and whatever. I don't think the Born. kids are on Twitter though. Yeah, yeah, but that that is uh, that's uh, alarming, harrowing. Yes, what's, not any tits. What's the other word I said earlier? Veal. Huh? Veal. Veal. Yeah, Patrick Holbert was viral. 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 Yeah, yeah. Viral de Milo. What was her name? Vera Venus. De Venus. Yes, when are, women are from there. No, who was the Jim Carrey? Flexi, Vera De Milo, right? Oh, yeah. The bodybuilder from In Living Color. Can oh, I gotta, yeah. Can I, get a on that? I think it was Vera. I'm sure that's Vera offensive De Milo to trans like people. That. Oh, it was too offensive, all right. <laughs> I'm she sure. Talk Ms. like this. And this yes. Thing. Mrs. Doubtfire, I'm sure, is, is stepping in that territory. Well, Mrs. Doubtfire, they're protesting the Broadway. What? My, yeah, my I, someone I know was like uh, up in arms, like posting. About it because it's transphobic, but it's so crazy. I, I don't want to go down this. No, I don't either. But I, I didn't know but, we're attacking uh, Mrs. D. But there's no trans in Mrs. Doubtfire. I don't even understand it. Yeah, there's no surgery. It's just a wom- a man dressed like a woman to see his kids. It was a drive-by fruiting. Vera Demilo. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Thank right. you. Yeah, I nailed it. 
Hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories brought to you by Athletic Greens. Please send us some uh, more of this stuff because I am hooked. I love it. It's so good, and I'm not even just saying that because it's written here. Athletic Greens was the morning booster I didn't even know I needed. Just scoop, shake, and have alongside your morning coffee or OJ. When you're too lazy to take your shelf of vitamins, just drink them. It tastes good. You just It's just a whammo of uh, nutrients and veggies and greens. And you just, you just put them down in one big gulp, and it tastes pretty good. I mix it with a little chocolate. Packed with over 75 vitamins and minerals just for a major boost to your gut, mood, energy, and even skin, hair, and nails. It's the healthiest thing you can do in under a minute. Are you got chocolate laying around the house? I got cocoa oh, powder. No kidding. That sounds like grammar. I got cocoa. <laughs> If you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs uh, for your first purchase. Wow. One year. Send us more. Go to athleticgreens.com slash Tuesdays. That's that's athleticgreens.com slash Tuesdays. Check it out, folks. I'm a legit fan. Hey, hey, folks, Tuesdays is brought to you by BetterHelp. When life gets you feeling overwhelmed, work with a therapist can make you more prepared to take on everything that life throws right in your yin-yang. We love therapy. We got Big Al. But look, sometimes you can't find the time to go all the way over there, put a mask on, go down on them. It's a whole thing. Now you can do it from home, Zoom, whatever you got. BetterHelp is a therapy option that's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and switch therapists for no additional charge. Easy peasy. Japanesey. If you want... If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp, one word, dot com slash Tuesdays today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash Tuesdays. Get on it. All right, well, I should get into something. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I got, some should, stuff, but, got some stuff. I got some stuff. Let's get a, going. That was a good digress, or an alive-gress. Um, so... Uh, Wacky experience. I was in Miami. Oh, let me great just comedy town. Yeah, <laughs> great club, great staff. They were so giving and generous and sweet and helpful. I mean, it's got to be one of the best comedy club crews. It's run by a guy, this guy Justin and his wife Melissa, and they're 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 on it. They just efficient. They anything you need, they kill you or they help you. And all they get all these guys coming into Miami. These I don't want to say names, but a lot of Light runners and uh, divas and mm. high maintenance queefs. Sure. And so when you when we come in there and we go, I had like a, a bag of almonds and a coffee. They go, holy shit! And you do your time, holy hell! And you you shake hands after, you know. So they they like us. Mm-hmm. And but the crowds, Jerry, they're just not into bits. No, they're so tough. I've only done a couple shows in Miami my whole life, but I think I've heard this about them. They're nightclub party people, so they wait to the last minute. They want to see the yes. best offer. Yes. They want to go, okay, the dance club, I guess we'll go see this asshole. And look, we, we had gays there. We sold it out. It was great. But you still get your Miamians who have got the tits out, the crispy tits, the diddles and bits, and they're going, you know, high heels on, hoop ear, who's this? I'm bored. Where's the blow? And that's it. That's yes. the show. So it is tough. You're running with weights on, and I remember being like, you have to adapt. Like, the first show, you're like, Jesus, I got my ass kicked out there. You have to be louder. You have to say fuck more, and you have to engage them. It's like a puppy. We go, hey, 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 hey. You got to shake your keys. Right. Key West. So it was tough, and then I was so excited to come back to New York and just do a set at the cellar, and you're like, oh, this is, this is comedy. Yes. But it was tough, but my point is... I'm sitting there on Saturday afternoon, got a show at 6, sitting there at Saturday afternoon, and I go, boy, Jay Leno broke three ribs and a femur or whatever. Did you hear about this? No. This is this is removed from the face burning? Yeah. Face burning is over. He's all cleared up. Oh. Burning man. This is a motorcycle accident. Oh. This guy's, what, 80? He's still got a full head of white hair, by the way. Uh, so he's he's cracked up, and I go, God damn, Jay Leno is a fucking, he's like a stunt guy. So what, how he, sorry, I, he was on a motorcycle and he hit some sand or some shit? He hit like a, a barrier on accident and just oh. flipped over about 38 times, and that oh. chin just 
put a pothole in the in the road. God, well, pick it up and send it my way. <laughs> send it to you. Uh, all right, yeah. So it was uh, it was it was ugly. Okay, Jeez, this is terrible. More chins at a Chinese store phone book. That's ah. a classic. Oh, I see. Ah, I threw it at you. But uh, either way, I'm like, God damn, Jay Leno is a is a madman. So I text Jerry. Oh boy, I'm alone. I'm lonely. I'm in Miami. I have a Jewish energy around me, and I just go. Jay Leto might be the toughest guy on the planet. I don't know. I was just throwing it out there. Okay. Sometimes you got to grab your sack under your skirt and just squeeze. Oh, God. The hand smell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was thinking about that. Oh, jeez. So I go, all right. Texted him. He doesn't write back. Par for the course. I'm an idiot. Dumb text. I hate myself. So you got your phone out. You're laying on a hotel bed. So I just go, ah, let me see what's going on with the old <laughs> porn hub. Okay. As you do. And uh, that's why I'm not buying gum. So I go, oh, this is a hot lady. I start jerking it, you know, as you do. And I'm about to finish. Phone rings. Okay. Jerry. Whoa. Phone, phone call. call. First phone oh call my ever. God. So I come. Oh, my God. Uh, it no. says Jerry Seinfeld on your phone? Right on there. I'm like, Whoa! my dick's out. My oh. skirt's on the floor. I'm freaking out. Did you screenshot well, I would, but it's it's uh, BBC right under him, you know? It's like a giant black dick, and then Jerry's face, like, you know? So uh, not not a great time for a screenshot, and I wanted to answer it, you know? So I'm like, ah, I trip over my heels. I'm walking around the apartment. I pull my pants up, and I go, ah, hello! You know, and he goes, hey, what's shaking? And I go, hey, oh good, God. how are you? And uh you know, the first two minutes are shaky. Like, how are you? Well, how are you? What are you up to? Oh, I'm in Miami. What are you up to? Oh, I'm in LA. All right. But then we talk for like an hour and ten minutes. What? Hour and ten. Get out of here. Swear I to got God. To flip. I mean, we covered everything: left, right, up, down, queef, jizz, anal, semen, kooks. The hand? Did the hand come up? Yeah, it came up. Ah, boy. Yeah, I, I covered for you. Oh, jeez. I said, he's a little downsy. He's got autism. His mom's gay. Oh, oh the hand smell. No, he didn't He didn't even think about it. Didn't okay. even come up. We, we talked about Colin's show. Didn't come up. I said, ah, Chris D was there. I said, this guy was there. You're all good. Okay, great. You're good. Whew. Wow. Yeah, I mean. So what are you talking? Are you saying, oh, Miami crowds are crazy? And does he say, oh, my God, I remember being there in 88? Totally. He's like, I did that improv. I was like, I was just in Zanies. Like, he's like, whoa, I did Zanies. Man, I forgot about that place. And it was just, it was wow. so normal. And we covered everything. We we disagreed on a few things. We There was some pushback. Wow. He loves the clips. Loves clips. I don't want to give too much. I don't like It's a private conversation. But I was talking about the Louie thing where that video of Louie going around going like, Ah, these clips, they're they're ruining comedy, whatever. And he was like, Ah, I like the clips. That's crazy. Is he looking at the clips on Instagram? Is oh, he yeah. watching clips? Oh yeah. Jerry Seinfeld is on Instagram. That's what you're trying to tell me? Yes. Wow. He goes, How is South Africa? He knew I went to South Africa. Wow. Does I mean, he have an account? Oh yeah. Wow. Cause some of these celebrity types, they have burner accounts. So That's they can true. See what's shaking. But if you look at his, it's cars, it's it's actually shit he likes. Right. You know, it's not like some fat lady in Idaho going, Oh, I'll put up a master of my domain clip, you know. Right, it's right. it's his shit. And so great convo, and he goes, Hit me up two weeks, I'll be back in New York. He's like, I'm dying in LA. This movie set. Wow. I need some con he's like, he's watching podcasts. Oh, he's making the movie. Yeah, he's editing. So he's right. like, oh, I'm in L.A. I want to kill myself. I need I need some comics around. Wow. Wow. And then we talked about, uh, I was like, so you're back out on the road. I saw he's doing the Beacon. We talked about Hamilton, how great his new stuff is. And yes. He's like, I'm back at the Beacon. And I was like, well, what are you doing? You put a special out. Then COVID hit. Then you did the movie. He's like, I got nothing. I'm dying out there. It was great. He's like, I'm, I'm building it back up. And it's brutal. Wow. Well, he could do a special of his old stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> he could number four yeah well he knows how to get a paycheck uh re up he certainly does but wow i can't believe jerry's watching clips he's watching clips he's watching pods we talk about this pod we talk about that pod and he's like referencing stuff then we talk about certain specials lately and wow very interesting great guy and he goes hit me up we'll get lunch and i go well give me a, a window i don't want to just hit you up randomly guys he's like i have no window i'm too busy just hit me up and we'll make it work Wow. So this is blowing my mind that Jerry Seinfeld is sitting and watching stand-up clips, and he thinks it's good. 
Yeah. Well, That's... he doesn't. He doesn't think every clip is good. Obviously, he just thinks no, but... it's a good idea for your career. Oh, I guess for your career, yeah. But a general, it does seem not great for comedy. For sure, me. oversaturated and uh, definitely clogged up. Yes, clogged up, and uh, and now people can sell tickets from a clip. Of being oh, like, yeah. oh, and like front facing, whatever you call it, going, hey, uh, my know. sister's ass. I mean, I just saw a guy. Yeah, there's some people, very little experience with a lot of followers. Yes, I'll say yes. That. Well, don't you think the cream, like, it's an ecosystem? Don't you think it kind of cleans itself out over a few years? Hopefully, it remains to be seen. Because some, yeah, I mean, some of these people that are like selling out from TikTok, we'll see. I mean, I imagine a lot of the people, they won't. Get people to come a second time? Yes. So we'll see. We'll see. It remains to be seen. But it does take years for this to evolve and and flesh itself out. But like I said, you you go on the road, there's guys that don't headline, but they want to headline. They want the big viral clip. So they're on stage doing 20 minutes going, hey, what are you you from? What are you doing? Yeah. And that makes for a funky show. Well, I'll tell you, a lot of these clip crowd work how long you've been dating people just go to miami because that's what they want they right. don't want an act so go down there you'll get 800 clips of a, of a cuban woman going ay, 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 ay. <laughs> and that'll that'll go viral but uh i'd like to do a set you know yes but so, this is unbelievable pretty great he was eating too which is very like so comfortable Interesting. Yeah. I mean, and ride bikes together and hang oh, out and ride the plan. In, riding in cars with boys. I mean, this is yeah. something else. <laughs> I mean, I'm so proud of myself because I played the long game, Fatty. You yes. know, I could have been like, oh, what are you doing now? What are you wearing? What are you up to? What are you eating? Right. But I played it out. I waited. I, I texted him once every four months, five, which was hard. You want to text him every day and go, I love you. Kiss me. Of course. But I didn't. I waited and it worked. Close to the vest. Thank you. Good investment, but uh, yeah, so it worked out, and now we're getting lunch next week, I I'm, think. I'm always scared he's going to see our pod and be like, uh, well, what the fuck is this? I'm terrified. He's going to be like, what the hell are they doing here? This is this is mine. This is me. Nah, he's fine. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Yes, it's uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's all in the rearview mirror with him and the show. All pipes, and uh, well, we love the show, Jerry. Come on anytime. Yes, yes. And, uh, wow. I threw that out there, and boy, that was a fun dismissal. He's like, hey, if you ever want to come on the uh, on our pod, he was like, well, you know, I got a, uh, what, is, what is that, a Ukraine? <laughs> uh, is that a war going on? So, But I get it. He's a busy guy, and this doesn't help him, doesn't move the needle for him. Big guy, busy guy. But I think he likes to participate in see so. comics, and you want to be right. included. A lot of times, these celebrity people, they stop getting included because people go, I don't want to reach out. We talked about this before with this. A lot of people go, ah, hey, he's too busy. He's right. got stuff going on. I've seen it. I've seen it with people, old friends, who are like, I can't bother him now. Ah, good point. And I think that happens a lot with success. People get intimidated by success, so they're like, I don't want to reach out. Yes, yes. And I think you want to stay connected. Like a lot of these George Clooney's will be like, hey, South Park, can you write me in? I want to stay hip. Right, right. You know, and South Park is like, oh, George Clooney, we're just a bunch of potheads from Colorado. But... The show is funny, so they want to look cool like, right. in the know. It's like when uh, Brad Pitt was on Jackass. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, he's like, hey, I'm Brad Pitt, but I'd still like to be fun. I love Brad Pitt. Oh, I just the have greatest. A deep love for him. I think he's so attractive and so talented and just charming. Charming, likable, and he seems like one of us. He loves Monty Python. He hates wow. his kids. I totally relate to him. I didn't know he had kids. Oh, yeah, he's like nine kids. He's got nine he? kids. Half of them are from Uganda and uh, Argentina and yeah. Wuhan. Well, uh, yeah, he's just... I watched Ocean's Eleven on the plane. Oh, That's a fun film. So hunky, chewing the apple. Oh, the apple, and I think he's got a lollipop at oh, one point. Yeah. Cool as a cucumber. Very cool. Yeah, you want to go, hey, Julia, what are you doing with Clooney? Go go for the pit man. Have you ever found Julia Roberts attractive? I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, I mean, even the line where Matt Damon's like, this is the best part of my day, and it's Julia Roberts, and I'm like, is it? She's six seven. She's got a face like my dad. Yeah, she's I, a little angly. She's all teeth. I don't get it. I just, um, I don't, I don't want to sit here and say, hey, she's fugly. Fuck no, her. I hope she dies. No. Fine actor. I just don't see her as a, a sex symbol. I agree. It's it, If it was your mom's friend, you'd be like, oh, that's not bad. But it's. Uh, I think I'm also it's, sh- it's shoved down our assholes where we have to be like, she's America's sweetheart, she's America's beautiful woman. And I'm like, 
That makes me like her less. Yeah. I want the the street crack whore who I'm not supposed to like. Then I find some beauty in her. Like, Meg Ryan is 1,000 times more attractive than Julia Roberts. Meg Ryan is, uh, but have you seen her lately? No, I'm sure it's, yeah. He looks like an old box turtle. Yeah, it's not great, I've heard. The, the, but, the work done. But 80s Ryan, forget about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. Joe versus the anal and uh, uh, sleepless in Queef Town. Top Gun. Uh, oh yeah, all Top that Gun. Shit, she's just so hot and cute. Well, these people are getting the work done. Gwen Stefani, uh, Simon from America's Got Talent, or whatever the hell that's called. What is that? The one I'm thinking of. Idol, American Idol. Oh, Simon uh, Cowell. Peg. Cowell, Cowell, yes. Simon Rex, Simon Peg, Simon Cowell. A lot of Simon. Simon Paul says. Simon. Paul Simon. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, it's one of the chipmunks, I believe, as well. Theodore Simon. Alvin Theodore Simon. Simon. Yeah. <laughs> Alvin. <laughs> yes, yes. Fun. I remember David Cross was in that, and everybody gave him shit, because he was like this artsy-fartsy guy who was like, oh, you're doing that gig, oh, you're doing that, you fucking sell out. Then he did Alvin the Chipmunks, everybody's like, "Wow, oh, what's going on now there, Crossy? Sarah saw a clip of him, she said it was amazing. She said it was like, un- unbelievable. Oh, really, really? Dark and hilarious. Oh, Maybe good. he's getting back to his roots. Well, he was a brilliant guy. Yeah. He's super funny. Well, clearly, but I saw him on Hot Soup one time, and I was quite disappointed. I remember that. But I think maybe he's uh, digging back in and getting in there. Good, good. We love to have him back. He's a talented queef. Now, now, now I'm hogging. Now I got to throw back to old uh, Greeny over here, the Green Giant. <laughs> well, I got one that uh, it's fresh, and my asshole's still bleeding. And yeah. I, I got I to tread lightly. I mean, this is a this is an edgy episode here with the Jerry talk. And the, is it? I did a corporate gig what? here. Oh, I can't wait to hear about a corgi. It was a corporate at, at, a, corgi. at a certain theme park with a lot of power. Wait a minute. The powerful theme park. Yes. Disneyland. Yeah, well, it's cousin. Universal Studios. Magic Kingdom. Disney World. This uh, is all, world. all in the thing. Uh. And uh, you did a gig at Disney World? That's yeah. hilarious. I'm afraid. Well, people think. I've dealt with this my whole career. People think of me as a clean comic since I started. I well, think because I'm very, uh, I'm very kind and thoughtful and nice and sweet. Also, you don't you 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 talk about sex and shitting, but you don't veer into dicey water. You got no racial or you know uh, trans jokes. Not too much racial. Not too much trans. I mean, I've had a couple race race racial jokes in my day, but it never is a uh, like a oh boy. We're going into this now. You don't have a school shooting chunk. No, I do have a school shooting bit. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. I got a couple. All right. Well, maybe you've changed. I got Andrew Dice Clay over here. But it's corporate, so that doesn't even matter. I mean, corporate is PG. Squeaky. PG. It's Disney. Yeah, world. They're like, we got some Christians out there. I mean, this is Ooh, crazy. They and get you get Bargazzi over here. I, I, exactly. Uh, they should have gotten, yeah, Bargazzi or Steve Rogers or, you Reagan. know, a magician. That was two different farts. That it was, was like you hit two different buttons. Yeah. <laughs> it was like... Burp, burp. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you, you get the call. I get an email from uh, a booker that, that we like f- from New York City who's moved on to greener pastures. And uh, it's one of, these, one of these gigs that said, uh, you know, you know me. I like to have a, a schedule and I got things planned out. You like a routine creature I have. Yes. Yeah, so... It's not necessarily, I mean, I like a routine, but it was scheduling. I like two weeks out. This okay. is what we're doing. I like to go, all right, this day I'm flying here, and I'm about to leave for three weeks. I'm right. going to Key West for five days, Denver for three days, Gig Harbor for four days, Houston for a day, then Lafayette for a day, then back to Houston for two days. That's wow. a whole trip. Yikes, what an excursion. So it's all plans. Why we're recording ahead of time, whatever. So... Got that all planned, and I'm also in the middle of a seven-week trip here where I did Cleveland, then Austin, then uh, Mohegan Sun. That was rough. Ah, it always is. So you get the offer, and I'm, I'm happy in the middle of this long run to have a gig that I don't have to fly. I'm driving to Mohegan Sun. Oh, that's true. How nice is a driving gig? Love drive. Takes the edge off. It feels almost like it's not a gig. Exactly. The flying is really what fucks you. Exactly. So I got a nice drivey gig in there. Then I get the email, we're looking for a couple comics 
to do uh, 45 minutes total. Two okay. comics splitting okay, 45 that minutes. Helps. So you're like 20, 25. That's easy money. That's nothing. And the budget is, I'm not going to say numbers here. First of all, it's one of these ones where it's like the budget is between blank and blank, and there's just a huge amount between the two blanks. Oh, I hate that. They're now like, you're making me the weirdo. Just give me the top number. Exactly. It's, like it's between X and Y. I'm like, I'll take Y. Yeah, why I not? Yes. Exactly. X is half a Y. Yes. I hate my X. Um, I kind of like her. All right. But the um, other one. So uh, I remember I bumped into her that time. That She's was weird. a great gal. I, I, I joke. Yeah. I keyed. We're, we're kidding. Luke, I'm joking, too. I hated her. Uh, um, Luke kidding. Just kidding. Bidding? What was it? Kittles. Again? Kittles. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, baby. Luke Kittles. Um, so it's a big money, but I'm, like my instinct is to be like, no, I don't want to fly to Orlando on a Monday, then back on a Tuesday, then to Key West Thursday. Oh, you got to go all the way down. Yes. So I'm in right now, as we're recording, I'm in the middle of... Th- Flying three out of four days. Ah. Monday morning, fly LaGuardia to Orlando. Okay. Tuesday morning, Orlando to LaGuardia. Thursday morning, New York to Key West. Which, by the way, for all the fans that are like, you pre-record, you piece of shits. There's not that many of you. There's like six. Yeah, you know who you are. You know who you are. The reason I'm flying from Florida back to New York just to turn around and fly to Florida is so I can be here today to record the podcast. Is that right? Yes, I could have been staying down you there. See what we do for you, cum guzzlers. You know, you're so ungrateful, the six of you. The rest the of you are great. The rest of the best. Rest best. Yes, the, the, the evil six. So we should give them a name. The, yeah. the dick six. I don't know. I like evil six. Evil six. Dick six is fun. Yeah, so that's, pick a, six. that's my uh, comedy alter ego. Hey, I'm Dick six here. <laughs> Good to be back. Um, I'm, I'm great in an orgy. You wish you had a six. It's dick four. <laughs> Five and a half. What's a dick four? Um, <laughs> my ass. <laughs> dick six and, and Luke Diddles. Kittles. <laughs> Kittles, sorry. Luke Kittles and Dick Six. <laughs> oh boy, that should be the headline. Yeah, but uh, whatever you call it, I don't. I'm so bad at business. So uh, well, but we we appreciate you coming back. As as fuck the evil six, us us guys, we appreciate. it. I appreciate you. I appreciate me because I, I I'm, believe me, I'm looking. I could have spent a day at Disney fucking a couple kids with oh. the ears on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then, you're you're Pluto. Yeah, Pluto. <laughs> no, that's Popeye. Pluto. Pluto. You're goofy. goofy. You're goofy. I, mean, I think I'm goofy. Yeah, let's be honest. So, um... Tuesday's Brought With Stories also brought to you by Manscaped. Boys, since Manscaped has already made your balls nice and fresh, it's time to do something about that face. I've always wanted to do that. Manscaped has just announced their brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. The Beard Hedger gives you 20 hair cutting links all at the turn of a dial. No more changing out attachments, and it's waterproof so you can shave anywhere. And since Manscaped wants you to have all the tools for the job, they're throwing in a beard brush, comb, and scissors to make you look like one million bucks. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code TUESDAYS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code TUESDAYS. The Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit, the premier solution to face grooming. I could have stayed and driven and stopped in Miami or whatever the fuck. Yes, yes, Miami. Flew back, turn around tomorrow. So anyways, I don't want to do the gig, but it's why amount of money. Of course. And then they want Sarah and I. So Perfect. I can't deny Sarah half of why. Because ah. half of why is, is what she makes in a year. Yeah, boy. Good husband. Good husband. X and Y, all these chromosomes. I know, and I'm missing a couple. So... I go, okay. I, t- I sent it to my agent. I'm like, I'm, I sent it to Tommy, who's a, just a... Love the pooch. He is number one. Good egg. You know, he reps um, uh, Are You Garbage, and they say, we're going to sick the pooch on him. Ah. Oh, his name's uh, his I like name that. Pooch. Yeah, hey, we screw the pooch. He's he's the best. He really is the, um, what do you call it? The a pit apex. Apex. Of what you want working for you. He's a he's a fan. He knows where I'm going to be. Yes. And he routes for me. 
Good routing. I got two picks, but he's a good and he's normal because yes. a lot of these suits out there, there are what's up, sport? How you doing there, Tiger? We're gonna get you some hot shows tonight. Oh, you don't want that gig. You're like, actually I want that gig. No, that I already turned them down. You're like, fuck off. Who the hell are you? Yes. Plus, everywhere I go, every booker and manager is like, your agent's a piece of shit. That's fuck a this good guy. sign. I'm like this. You're damn right. Yeah, he's a pit bull, the pooch. He's the pooch. <laughs> so I send it to him and he and he gets why. Right away. Yeah, like why? It's between X and Y. And he's like, well, we're taking Y, you sons of onions. Of course, you threw it out there. And it's at Disney World. They own ESPN and, and the world, I <laughs> yeah, think. Yeah, I think they own me. So, worldwide of sports. Wide world of sports. Uh-huh. Now, I got to tread world carefully here because they could shoot me. They're scary. Oh, well, they hate the pot already. Have you done the gig? Oh, I did it. Okay, okay. Well, then the money's in the bank there, sloppy jalopy. I did it, and it wasn't pretty. Uh-huh. So... We fly down to Orlando, Disney World, and I hate Disney. When I I gotta tell you, when I see a man with a fucking Mickey Mouse shirt uh, or a goofy shirt, if he's special needs, I let it slide. Oh, special needs, of course. Yeah, needs. That's one of your needs. But everywhere you look, there's just guys with hi Mickey, <laughs> and I'm like, you are a fucking cuck simp, whatever <laughs> word simp. they're uh, using. It's embarrassing. There was one guy. I, I I hate to be the all these roast jokes. You look like a pedophile, which I never makes sense to me. That's a lot of that. But this guy, school shooter too. He's wear yes that too. He's wearing a mask. He has a Mickey Mouse baseball cap. Okay. He has a Mickey Mouse neck pillow. Oh, he my has a God. Mickey Mouse leather jacket, like leather sleeves jacket, yeah, yeah. over a Mickey Mouse shirt. It's a lot of Mickey. He has Mickey Mouse. <laughs> An old man. It's Mickey. <laughs> It's, he's got Mickey Mouse sneakers. I shit you not. Sneakers? Mickey Mouse sneakers, shirt, coat, or jacket, hat, and neck pillow. Who's and fucking this man? Nobody. He's by himself. Okay, I hope so. I mean, this is, but that's even creepier. If he had a child that ah, you know, yeah. belonged to him, you go, oh, he's, he's the Mickey dad. Yes, yes, good dad. But this is Mickey bad. Yeah. I mean... I'm just looking at him like this guy. Like he said, this guy's a pedophile. Oh yeah, he's yeah. got to be. I mean, he's wearing the whole. He's wearing bait. <laughs> he's asking for it. You know, it's like going into a, a doghouse with a with a, a salami on your neck. <laughs> Warren Beatty. Uh, he's uh, just uh, Dick Tracy, which is what it, that had just come out when I went to Disney, which was fun. Ah, uh, good movie. Is it? I can't remember. I liked it. I liked it, but I think it's one of the worst reviewed movies in history. Well, they go all in in that movie. The costumes, the light, it all looks great. It looks like the comic. I don't, all I remember is uh, the trailer, which is so crazy because I was like eight years old. But it was like it was one of these where they did Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. And yeah. then the guy says, you mind if I call you Dick? And I remember thinking that was like hilarious. That's cool. It's fun. I haven't seen that in a long it's time. It's kind of noir, too. And it, it, he's got the watch. He goes, hey, Dick Tracy, we got a 142 at Disneyland. He goes, oh, the guy with the Mickey hat. You know what I was thinking would be a fun Patreon is we watch old movie trailers of movies we watched as kids. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Trailers. I watched the Goodfellas trailer recently. It's In a World guy. It's like In oh, a World really? of the Mob. It's so weird. Pablo. Yeah. And they're, they're like 11 minutes, those old trailers. Yeah. They're crazy. And he jizz. I got to focus. We Sorry. see the Mickey guy. Mickey guy, pedophile. We get down to Disney World, and it's the show is in Disney World, which is the size of two Manhattans. That's how big what? Disney World is. Is that yes. right? Yes. It's the Magic Kingdom. It's the Animal Kingdom. It's, like there's a uh, technology, a future land or something? Epcot Center. Epcot. There's Star Wars shit. Tower of Terror. Yes. yes. It's, it's massive. I think they got rid of Splash Mount. Oh, is that right? Yeah, too wet. Oh, how I about know. that? We're out of water. Song of the South. That's right. What's that? That's song of the South song. is like a super racist old Disney project that takes place on a plantation that was huge. Oh. Well, Why do they for, get, just get rid of the song? Can't you keep the splash? I mean, the Song of the South is the name of the movie. It's not a Song of the South. I know, but can you, what does that have to do with a, a big... All the, all the characters are from Song of the South. Uh, the whole thing. I had no idea. There's a character called Tar Baby. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. it's rough. That Tar was, a- was nominated for Best Picture. That's so. true. It wasn't great. Yeah. But anyway, Jez. God, I got to speed it up. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm cutting you off here with Splash Mountain. No, cut off. So we land, cut off short. So we land, and the gig, you just, you know it's going to be rough, but the whole time you're like, it's 45 minutes, and it's a shit ton of money. Yes. 
you get there, you check into the hotel, and it's like down season because it's like whatever. It's Jan- it's a uh. Monday, so nobody's really around. It's very quiet. We get to the hotel, we fuck, we're feeling good, whatever. We meet the guy, like the our handler guy. He gives us the run through, shows you the room, and the room is like it's a bar restaurant, mm. 150 people. It's a bunch of companies merging to one. So no one really knows each other. Ah, oh, this is already a nightmare. It's tough. So we get there, and you look at it, and I'm just going like this. This looks like every gig I did starting out from sure. 2000 to 2006. Knights of Columbus, VFW, fundraiser, bar gig. Elks Lodge. Yeah, it looks like that. So, But instead of you know 40 bucks, I'm making why. Yeah, why? So you sit there, you go, okay, this will be fine. You know, we get there, we're hanging out. Sarah's getting nervous, and it's squeaky clean, PG. Now, if this was just do your act, I wouldn't even think about it. Of course. Because, you know, we're doing an hour every night without even flexing muscle. No. You just do an hour. But did you have to go back and do a little research on the old uh, hits? Yes. So that's the thing about corporate is there's so many jokes that you're like, this is, I'm like, oh, this is suicide. I talk Mm. about suicide a lot. Mm. I talk about cum a lot. I got a butthole chunk. Right. Jizz, shit, piss. I mean, it's not good. So you start going through. And then I hate these gigs because- you have to make a job. You're all adults, so they don't want dirty. But now you're saying wuss instead of pussy. Yeah, and yeah. You can't, they're like, no referencing sex. Wow, but we have, it's such a stupid thing. We have sex. We like sex. It's fun. We're adults. We're adults. It's all we think about. Let's talk about it. Exactly. So we go up there, and it's one of these ones where you're like, come on up, the back elevator. We're going to feed you in here. Okay. And I don't want to give too many details, but. The guy's very nice. He's had a couple cocktails. Oh, that helps. So I he, guess the guy comes in. And he goes, "All right, you gotta be clean." He's like, "If you go a little off, don't worry." But we do got some Christians here. It's a work thing. Yeah, Christian. I guess better than Al Qaeda. And you want to get that cash, so of you're course. like, "All right, let's just be." Why? So there's there's a meal. There's a steak and a thing. So you're eating, and then it's one of these gigs where. The people running it for the company just keep coming in the back. Mm. Hey, we're very excited. It's ah. going to be great. You're going to be funny. And you're they like, have okay, no just, we're freaking out. Please let us be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're there. They're telling us. And then a guy for the company goes, hey, this is a funny gag. I think this is funny. Oh, boy. I've been telling everyone Joe Coy is here. Oh, a more famous guy. A huge guy. Joe Coy does arenas. He's, he's huge. massive. He just did the forum for a special. So he's like, isn't that funny? So he's like, just go with it. Just if you hear me saying that, don't worry. It's just a funny joke. Oh. And I'm like, your joke is that you're telling everyone they're about to see a hugely famous comic. Yeah, then we get this drop off. And then you're going to bring out a not famous at all comic. Right. So, but maybe a better comic. I mean, the, the maybe hurts, but. Well, I'm trying to be uh, flowery for the camera. Ah, uh, I see. I don't want to just dive in and go, that guy, you know, whatever. He's great. I mean, I don't know Joe Coy's act. I worked for them years ago. Sweet guy. He's doing arenas. I'm sure he's hilarious. He's doing his thing. But, I mean, we're, we're best buds. You can say, hey, All right. and a better comedian. I mean, I think it's implied. I mean, I mean, sure. I mean, if you're doing a gig with Regan, I'd be like, yeah, and you're way better. I'd look at the camera and wink, but. Uh, wow. I'm just trying to keep it copacetic uh, here. Diplomatic. Thank you. I see. Well. Why? We love you, Coy. But, yeah. hey, they're telling the crowd. Coy Pond. Hey, uh, Coy's coming. And I'm like, you want to say, what are you insane? Why do you think uh, that would course. be a great idea? A horrible idea. It's like coming out at a music festival and be like, hey, don't worry. The Beatles reunion's up in two. Right. And then going, here's uh, Godsmack. Yeah, semicolon or whatever. <laughs> What's it called? Semi-charm. Semisonic. Semisonic. <laughs> <laughs> we got Dishwalla coming out, folks. Heads up. <laughs> it's like, you're fucking me. Of course. But, and you're already fucked going in. And now he's putting a butt plug in your mouth. And and it's just, the sound is bad. I got to, sh- we'll put some video on the Patreon. I mean, it's just everybody's talking, uh. hanging out, drinking. They're bringing out desserts. And they're like, we're going to start early. I go, okay, great. And Sarah, I'm just telling Sarah, like, you're jumping on a grenade. By yeah. the way, no judgment here. You know what I mean? If you're at a club, you're like, you're doing that joke. Right. You're doing that crowd work. You're doing that fucking old line. This is like, 
do my act, do Milton Berle's act, yeah. take your tits out. This is survival mode. Exactly. I'm like, no judgment. Let's just get out of here. Good, good, good uh, note at the beginning because you know you start getting hacky and you're like, oh, am I getting hacky? But you're like, it's Disney World. Uh, I'm Joe Coy. I'm dying here. Oh, dude, I'll I'll juggle and, and put my panties on my head. Sure, jizzing them. So um, she goes up and right away, it's one of these. But they don't even say she's a comedian. Uh, they go, boy. okay, it's time for the entertainment. Here is, it's one of these ones too. It's like, I don't want this guy to get mad, but I'm like, I texted the frenetic spelling of her name. Uh -huh. I never even read it. I just did it, her name completely wrong. Yeah, what did he say? Tamache? He said Tomalosh. Okay. So the Tomalosh. It's not horrible. But, and we said, just say it with confidence because sometimes people will go, it's Sarah. It's, oh, oh. Yeah, that's worse. So there's no, and the guy's very, very nice. Couldn't be nicer, but never says we have comedy. Wow. It's literally just, here comes the entertainment. Okay. References Joe Coy. And then <laughs> says, Sarah Tomalosh. Yeah. So she has to walk out and literally say, hello, I'm a comedian. Wow. And they're like, okay. And she does, okay. Meanwhile, there's, it's all glass behind us. There's fireworks. There's like Disney World fireworks going off behind her. Whoa. It's so distracting. Nobody's paying attention. People are texting. A guy's heckling. He's like, talk about the finance department, then hides behind a pillar. Oh, uh, yeah. And like just texting. The food is still out. There's a bunch of people behind pillars that can't even see. They're not even trying to see her. They're yeah. just talking like this. Yeah. And she's got to do 20. And I'm like, don't. Bet. You got to do all 20. Do all 20. You got to get that, that X check. So uh, it's just... Okay. Okay. It's okay like, is good in that environment. It's tough though, and I'm going. I'm in the back, going like this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ri I'm gonna get him. You She's got. She's on the grenade. Yeah. I got this. Oh, you got some ideas, some snipes, some riffs, some zings. Couple riffs, and she had some good ones too. She's like, by the way, I just want to piggyback on the CEO. You're all getting cars. The cars in the parking uh, lot. Fun. They're yours. If you don't see a kid underneath, just kick open the window. Ah, that's good. It's good, but. Very little laughter. Yeah, Just deaf ears. Kind of like this. Oh, ah. oh boy. And uh, she does a little crowd work, which does better. Yeah. But it's tough. Okay. But in my mind, I'm like, I grew up on these gigs. I'm going to really hit. I'm going to do the liar, liar. Fat ass, baldy, whatever. Yes, I'm out of here. Really rip. She brings me up like a soldier. She does all 20. All brings right. me up. Tomalash. You know these ones where you're like, here comes the first line. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, I know it too well. Get ready for this, folks. Put it right in my ass. And I hit him with it. Yo, kip, bap, and yeah. just like this. Ah, uh, and that, that goes from here. It brings you right down to their confidence level it goes immediately. From Y straight to X to O. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> X is an O's, and I just, you feel that sweat trickle. Yeah. And you feel flush because yes. you're like, that's my A bit. Royal flush. That was my opener. And then I'm going like, yeah, it's always nice doing comedy with fireworks going off. And the people are like this. Oh, baby doll. I mean, brutal, and it's one of these ones where you're bombing, and you think, I'm doing 25, that's nothing. That's like yeah. a third of what I normally do. And you look over, and it just says 418. Hooey! And you go, four? I'm at four? You got 21 minutes to go. I'm fucked. And then it's just this thing, that feeling where it turns into anger, actually. Yes. Because you're like, this is the feeling that makes me I know insane. I know it is when you can feel the audience going, this guy sucks. 100%. They hired a guy that sucks. Yes. And you just want to play video. You want to pull down I a know. screen and put on your special and be like, watch this. You want to pull out your resume. Look at this. Tonight Show. Netflix. Yes. yes. Here, here's, here's Colin Quinn talking about me. 100%. What do you think about that? And you want to go, you suck. You guys are bad. You're not getting it. Nothing is, you're not absorbing anything I'm saying. And you went in with a bad attitude. They go, oh, here we got some bullshit entertainment here. It was, br I mean, like a lot, like this face, a lot of like this, doing the, a lot of that, and then yeah. just like this. Yes, yes. And it's just horrible. So I start like talking about the company. I'm trying to make fun of them. I'm trying to make fun of the place. Yep. Zilch, impervious. Wow. And then every once in a while you hear this. That's not bad. That's oh, okay. That makes it worse. It's horrible. It's a bomb. A bomb. And I look, and I still have, I just had one timer going from when she started, because I'm trying to get to that 45. I look, it's at 36, and the guy- Wait a minute, you did over? No, no. 
45 minutes total. Oh, we're total, total. Okay, gotcha. So we're, as a team, we're at 36. And I just see the guy who was like talking, our point guy, who just disappeared. He was like in the back hanging he's, out. He's got to hide. He like reappears like this and just goes, Oh, I know it. And uh. you know the company is going, we fucked up. We yeah. thought, and I even said this on stage, I was like, people think they want comedy they and always, they don't. They always think it, but they never do. And I got to give a hats off to the, the booker, our friend, because she was a uh, number, she was aces. She was up there laughing and she was really uh, understood how brutal it was. Yeah. And so uh, we didn't get much judgment from her. She was great and I'm grateful. Thank you. And then you just go, all right. Thank you. Good night, everybody. And it's like pitter patter of clapter. Then I couldn't hear, but I think the guy came up and kind of shit on us a little bit. Yeah. Was like, Yikes, that was crazy. We go in the back, back to where our food was. I'm like livid at this point, sweating. I'm yeah. like, we got to get out of here. I can't face these people. Got to get out. But you want to be a pro. So you're like, all right, we got to wait and just wait for them to come say something. What do you mean? Who's they? Hey, can't you leave? You're done. The point. Guy. Oh, the but you want to be a pro, and we were talking to him, and then this this other woman, like there was like three people back there hanging out, and then we're there for about ten minutes trying to be professional. Thank you, we're grateful. Sorry, I hope it's okay. We wait about ten minutes. No one's coming back. He can't face you. I realize they're also in the same room yeah. going. I'm not. I don't want to talk to them. Yeah, which hey, I'll take it. You'll take it, but it's also like it's also a ouch. tough pill to swallow. It's also a little bit. I want to choose my adjective wisely here, but it's a little... Uncouth? Yeah, to not come back and say, hey, thanks a lot. So it was tough out there, yeah. but we appreciate... I mean, before the show, we're best buds. Right. So now it feels like these people are mad at me. Of course. Literally, nobody comes back to say, good job, thanks a lot, you need anything... Yeah. And uh, before they were like, if you need a meal, your meal cooled down, we'll get you another meal, we'll bring you a dessert. Yeah, it, it shows the power of, of bombing slash killing. You kill, they come back there, they hop you up on the shoulders. Hey, it, hero. And if you bomb, they're like, I can't even look him in the eye. I mean, no one looked at us, and we just snuck out the service. that like the, the They call it cast. They don't call them employees at Disney. Ah. They're part of the cast. That's a, that's cringy. So we walk in the kitchen. We're like, we're leaving the back way. And then there's a bunch of kitchen employees being like, you can't be back here. This is ah! cast only. And I, I stood my ground. I was like, I'm not walking through that room. Wow. And I was like, we took this elevator down earlier, and, and this is the way we're leaving. And he's like, well, I got to get my manager. And I said, that's great. I'll be right here. And they're like, we can't have you in the kitchen. And I was like, listen, I used this elevator earlier. I'm using it again. Go find the manager. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm not going out there. Yeah. And then the manager came. I was like, here he is. And he was like, okay, I'll take you down. He took us down. We went. We just walked laps. There was a big water thing. We just did laps around the place, changed our outfits, put our baseball hats on, and just walked about five miles, literally strolling around, just like that was horrible. Yeah, you got to walk it off. It, that's how bad that stink is. It's on you. You got to get rid of it. Oh, it was so bad. And it's one of those things, if they said, we have, you got to do one more next week, same yeah. money, I would be like, keep the water. Wow. I don't need that again. Why? Because we love you. And uh, I'm dying. That was followed by Mohegan Sun, which is oh, also very tough. So I'm tough. on a streak of, I did. Hilarities, which was unreal, all sold out, great shows, Cap City the next oh, week, sold out, magical. hot, and now I did Mohegan, and uh, I'm Mohegan I love and I appreciate them, but it's tough. That's a tough room. Followed by the corporate, so I'm heading to Denver now, and I, I oh. can't wait. I need it. I need that Denver to wash over me. Well, Den first, it's like a Silkwood shower after a, a diddle. I mean, you need that, but a couple silver linings, mm -hmm. if I may. I'm trying to... First of all, the hilarity of the juxtaposition that you're at the magical, happiest place on Earth, yes. and you're the saddest guy on the planet, and they made you the saddest guy. Brutal. Brutal. So that's fun. Like, you get out of there, you're walking around with Sarah, and there's this kid's, ah, I love it here. You got fat Mickey shirt and, and neck pillow guy, and he's in cloud nine, and yeah. you're cloud six. So then, did it bring, it kind of... Bonds you with your wife a little. Absolutely, yes. You, you've been to the trenches. You you went to Nuremberg over here. Yes, I said I love you and I'm, I'm grateful for you. Thank God for you. The wind beneath my wings. The whole thing. Tongue in her asshole. Coming her undies. So that was good. But it was funny. I was texting Sam before, and I was like, these gigs. They're not, I don't even think it's worth the money. It's great money, but I don't even know if it's worth it. And he's like, well, it's not worth it until you walk off stage. You're done, and then yeah. you get a check, and you're like, that was worth it. But even still, I'm like, God. 
It's just the, them looking at you going, this guy's not a good comic. We, yes. we fucked up. That's what hurts the most. I did that Philly gig. It's like a famous bomb story where I got, I not only did I get walked off stage, I got fired and replaced in front of me. But the uh, the guy goes, yeah, what happened up there? And I'm like, I don't know. I did my act. And I, and I was on stage bombing, and I got angry, too. And I went, that worked on The Tonight Show. That was, which is such a cunty move, and I, I regret know. saying it, but you're you're angry. It's it's hard, and you feel we got we got to wrap it up here, but you feel like it's so upsetting, and it's so rare now. Yes, that yes. you just straight up bomb. Like we're at a place now. We perform a lot for our fans and for club. Even if they're not fans, they know like, oh, this guy's something because you're mostly at clubs. We don't yeah. do a lot of hell gigs anymore. And you also just have those years. You have chops. Yes. You know how to do comedy. So it's very, very rare for me, for you, for anyone that's been doing comedy as long as we have, really, to be doing jokes that are literally getting nothing. Nothing. It's jarring. It's, it is like a prize fight where the guy lands one and you're like, oh, shit, he is stronger than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Or you're hitting him with your best stuff, and you're like, fuck. It's not shaking him. I didn't think he had that shit. There's nothing I can do now. Well, that's what was so frustrating about comedy, and I've covered this before, but it's like, that joke works. It's like a basketball. If that goes in the hoop, it's two points. But for some reason with our jokes, the joke is a is a point score, but you don't count it. Right. It'd be like going, ah, that one doesn't count. You're like, but it... It gets two points. I go, ah, that didn't work tonight. Yeah, it's not it's not hooked up. Yeah. The little thing that's like, like but, but that's the joke. It went in. They go, ah, it doesn't matter. Right. That's what's so frustrating about comedy, but it's also, it's subjective, and it's an art form, and it's a crap. It's all pipes, but uh, they, again, they were very nice. I personally would have come back and talked to the artists yeah, after. Yeah, it's a little uh, unprofessional. But uh, they were very nice, and they paid us, and we're grateful, and uh, but- and You got your why. Oof. Ooh, I got the Y, baby. All right, good. Get out of there with that Y. Actually, I owed most of the Y to my manager and agent. Ah, pooch, you cunt. The previous week's Y. That's Damn the worst it. part. Yeah. I'm not even getting any of the money. Goes right away. Oh, God. But that's what they, everybody goes, oh, being a comedian. Oh, you wake up at noon. Oh, you get drunk every night. Oh, you fuck hookers. Oh, you do blow. Oh, what about that? I'd, I'd love to see some corporate schmuck go through that pain and that fucking just... Punching the taint. Gut wrenching. But then you you turn it off after Sarah kept being like, and then that happened. I was like, I had to be like this. I don't want to hear about the gig anymore. We covered it. It's over. We got the why, and that's the end of the no more talking about this. Well, it's like Nam. You go, hey, hey, Uncle, Uncle Jeff, tell me about Nam. And he goes, ah, and you go, What? You shot a guy in the face, a zipper head. What are we doing here? He's like, ah. All right, sorry. <laughs> um, That's what they called him. All right, we got to wrap it up. Uh, this I, sometimes I think we should be doing the plugs earlier in the in the show. That's like what they say. Plugs do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, this weekend, Lafayette Friday, uh, Houston. Ooh. We added a show. I don't know where it's at now. We're obviously recording this ahead of time, but um, Houston late show added. There's probably a few tickets left for that. So come out to that. And uh, March 31st, April 1st, Salt Lake City, Wise Guys. Uh, Buy your tickets to that. And then, of course, March 2nd, that's before that one. I'm out of order here. Chicago Park West Theater. Oh, wow. Buy those, please. It's a Thursday night, one night only. And then, of course, uh, the Wilbur Theater, April 15th. Those things are really... That's going to move. Yeah, they're really moving. It's exciting. I saw Berkowitz. He was really cool. And he was like, oh, God. He was giving me the the thing. And that was exciting. He's a a fun guy. Great guy. And uh, yeah, so get those tickets. And uh, go subscribe to my YouTube. About to shoot another special March 6th. Shooting a new special. That's already sold out. But uh, I need those subscribers. It's all algo. So hit that subscribe button on my YouTube. And check out the videos. I'm putting a ton of shit on my YouTube. I saw a comment today. List is raking it in with the content. Hey, all right. Uh, I'm all over the road, MarkNormanComedy.com, back in the clubs. But what I really want to get you to come to, we added a show on Friday at the Vic in Chicago for uh, the special. So, hey, let's get another uh, round in there. Let's film another set. Come on out, Chicago. Uh, get 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 a bug. Patreon's cooking. And, uh, yeah, see us on the road. Buy a shirt. Queef it up. And, uh, Chuck, tell them about your podcast. Yeah, I got a podcast called Fun Bearable with a great comic named Ray Harrington. Just put up an episode where we're coming back from New York doing a bunch of interviews. And I got pulled over with no insurance. 
Oh, Jesus. Uh, no registration. Oh, my God. And my license was expired. Whoa. And it was quite an ordeal. Wow, Mark is your hero. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? I got to get plates as well. How, did you get out of it? Uh, you'll find out. All right, podcast. all right. Okay. Check out his pod to hear the rest of the story. Yeah, yeah. right at the top of the page, if you haven't heard the Joe episode and the Mark episode, they're really fun. They're pinned at the top at funbearablepod.com, and uh, you're going to want to hear the story of Mark finding out about Ray's N-word cake. Yeah, It was an all-timer story. Well, a lot of laughs. That was killer. Yeah, yeah I, ate, fun. I ate that thing. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for listening, and uh, we love you. It's all pipes.